Oh my goodness. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. As always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. My God, that was the worst game I think I've ever seen. Um, the Chicago Bears won that game without scoring a single touchdown. There was one touchdown in the whole game. There were so many turnovers, it wasn't even funny. It seems like Cinderella story of Josh Dobbs in Minnesota, the clock ran and hit midnight because it was just bad. Um, and the crazy thing, here's where people, you know, a couple weeks ago were saying, oh, the Cowboys, they might not make the playoffs. Um, understand that right now, the Minnesota Vikings at 6-6 six and six are the 7th seed. Here's what sucks. Now, I don't know how the final record is going to be. Right now, the Cowboys are tied with the 2nd best record in the NFC, yet they are the 5th seed. And you have the Atlanta Falcons that are 5-6 and six that are the 4th seed. That's where you look at it and say, just like last year, we had a 12-5 and five season. We're sitting here going to Tampa Bay on the road because they won their division because their division is ass-ass. But be that as it may, it is what it is. And, you know, the reality is is the Cowboys probably going to be locked in at that fifth seed and will play the NFC South in the first game and then, of course, have to go to probably San Francisco the second game. That's just the way it's going to be. But if they want to be the, be the team, they kind of man up and do it. Now, tomorrow is going to be interesting because tomorrow morning, Shaq uh, Leonard is coming to the Cowboys for a visit. Um, we hear that the Eagles now have more interest in him now because um, Cunningham, one of their linebackers, now has a hamstring issue. And they were already short because they've lost the Kobe Dean to um, injured reserve for the second time this season. And if they bring him back, they'll basically lose that spot. So... They are not in a good position when it comes to linebackers right now. And so this is one of those twofers that you could get. One, you would end up getting hopefully a player that can be a role player to help you out for the stretch run. And two, you can prevent him from becoming an eagle. So hopefully the Cowboys, you know, they do the physical, do the due diligence tomorrow, kick under the tires and find out, okay, this guy can help us. But we know Dan Quinn definitely wants him. And Micah Parsons sends a message to Shaq. Um, Micah, on his podcast tonight, had Shaq Leonard's jersey up behind him. So he's definitely showing love and trying to welcome him on board. And Jerry Jones, the one thing about Jerry Jones typically is, if he wants you, he ain't going to let you out the building until you sign that contract. Um, Jerry Jones is usually good <sighs> is usually good at closing the deal. That's the thing you gotta say about Jerry. He is damn good when it comes to closing the deal. So we'll see tomorrow morning. Hopefully maybe by lunchtime we hear some word that maybe the Cowboys made a move. And I think the Cowboys need to make this move for a multitude of reasons. I think, one, to just appease the fan base, to let them know that maybe this is different, that maybe the Cowboys are actually really trying. You know, the Cowboys had allegedly made calls during the trade deadline, didn't actually get anything done, you know, so it's kind of like, yeah, they're just bullshitting it. But I think for the fan base, if you are able to do this, that at least shows you are trying. You're not asleep at the wheel. You believe in the team and trying to make a run. And for the Cowboys, this is one of those ones that you're not giving up any draft capital whatsoever. This is just about money. And you can find a way, especially since most of the money of this contract has already been paid by the Indianapolis Colts. They're eating a whole lot of it. So this is one that they need to get done. The other thing out here is with Micah Parsons. Micah is flustered because of the lack of calls. 
when you watch how often he gets hands to the face, how many times he is held, you know, bear hugged literally from behind. Guys are just about jumping on his back and going for a ride. And the officials are right there and never seem to call it. And he's getting flustered with this, and I can't say I blame him. But as his coach Durham basically said, you're Micah effing Parsons, you know. Uh, just go out there and make a play. We're going to keep on calling it. We're going to keep calling your numbers. Just be relentless. Even though they're doing this bullshit and not giving you the benefit of the doubt or calling the game the way it's supposed to, you got to overcome. And unfortunately, everybody has to kind of overcome because the Eagles are getting calls or not getting called when they should be. And I have to say, this is some bullshit. This should not be, this game should not be decided by the refs leaning one way or the other. If you're going to call holding, call it consistently on both sides of the field. That the, the, the holdings, um, the, the pass interferences that you saw, where they're literally pulling the guy's jersey before the ball gets there, and everybody's looking at the same pictures and seeing this. Sitting here seeing Josh Allen getting body slammed onto the ground, and they're calling him for um, intentional grounding. This is some bullshit. When he was getting horse collared. But then again, the Eagles, they seem to get that respect. They just seem to get that respect and get those calls. So that's where we are with all of that. Phew. It is about 11.30. So it's 10.30 in Dallas. Morning would be 11.59 and before. So about 12 hours or so, Shaq Lawrence will be meeting with the Cowboys. And we'll see what we're going to see. Um, it's been kind of crazy um, trying to uh, get as much stuff done. I can't seem to get everything done that I want to get done. There's so many different things that I need to do. Um, I'm trying to get this space up here together because, you know, of course, Christmas is less than a month away. Let me say it again. Christmas is less than a month away. And it'd be nice to be able to say that this area is done. So I'm working on getting these cabinets and stuff uh, put up in here so that way I and everything up and out of here so I can sand the floors and start the process of varnishing it all and um, it's a lot to do no matter how much work I try and get done it still does not seem like there's enough time to do it all just not enough time to do it all. I can't keep getting out of my head Shannon Sharp. Every day you are writing your eulogy. My day is coming. I don't know when and I don't know how. The question you have because as time goes on, people don't remember you. What will be, what will people say about me when I'm gone? Hmm. I'm sure some of you trolls will say, Good, I'm glad he's gone. try to I always try to be the good person I always try and look out for my fellow man you know they say nice guys finish last hmm. 
We're good people. It's late, and I'm tired, boss. I'm real tired. But I want y'all to always remember, tomorrow ain't promised. Remember to tell the people you love how you how much you love them. You may not get the chance again, and I love you guys. God willing, we'll see each other tomorrow. Peace.